subscribe and press the bell icon to enjoy more exciting and enlightening videos from here. Hello and okay. welcome to yet another compelling episode of Thayer Masterpieces. Today, we are going to have a conversation with our career mentor, Mr. Venu Gopal E.K. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Hi. Hi, sir. Yeah, I'm good. Fine. Good. Yeah. Really great to know. Yeah. Sir, firstly, I would like to thank you for being a part of Thayer Career Mentor as a mentor now. And welcome yeah. to our community. So, let us begin today's episode by knowing more about your career path and journey. So, can you please walk us through that? Yeah. First of all, big thanks no, to, for arranging this give an opportunity to speak about in such a way. So, regarding a career, you know, I've been, I got a pretty long career. Okay, I started my career in the different services, okay, long back. I mean, few decades back. And then as a, what do you call, main, the aircraft maintenance, I was looking after the aircraft airborne instruments and all. So, there, after 10 years, I took a voluntary, you know, decision and then moved into IT. Because at that time, IT was just booming up, you know, the initial sales of that. So, I took an early advantage and I got an opportunity to work. Within IT. So my career in the defense, I first spanned around 20 years, out of which 10 years was in the maintenance section and 10 was 10 years again in the IT. So within that, I got an opportunity to work in different levels, you know, different arenas of IT, different platforms, you can say. So I did quite a good service also and I got a, what you call, chief of air staff combination also for that before I left. I left in 2006, uh, this defense. Okay. And that time, yeah, I decided to join into this, uh, what you call, corporate level and uh, I just landed into SAP. SAP, yeah. you know, yeah, it is in the analytics actually. So more into analytics. So I joined as an SAP business diversion consultant. So I mm -hmm. took a training, I got a certification on that and then I joined there. Okay, then I, the initial break I got in Trivandrum, okay. which went Techno Park. I got a break there. Then later on, I carried my career, continued my career in Capgem and IBM, and currently I'm with Atos. So, something like that. So, 14 years into corporate career also. Mm -hmm. So, currently I'm senior manager in uh, what you call in the Atos Intel Global Delivery. Area. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's it. So, you can say it, it spans both into you know, defense as well as IT sector. So basically, yeah, yeah, that's really <laughs> great to know, sir. You, it seems you really have a long and astounding yeah, career. Long. So, okay, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, <laughs> now I want to ask you, as you rightly said, at your almost young age, your IT sector was really booming, it was um, just new, but now it has uh, widened its horizons and the scopes are really great now in IT sector. So, I want to ask you that what do you think are the future? scope and opportunities in the IT sector? Yeah. So that's a good question. I mean, it's a quite natural question. So as I told, those days where no IT was just creeping, you know, okay, it has, now it has arrived and it yeah. is here to stay. Okay, it is here to stay for long. Okay, that is quite mm -hmm. evident. Okay. So yeah. because if you see, look into IT, mm -hmm. it is actually, you know, getting inroads into each and every aspect of your life. Okay. Forget about, in early it was basically to right. certain business areas and all. Now if you see, it has taken up, you know, almost everything. So you can't even imagine a world running without IT. And this will continue. Okay. And the graph is going to go up. Yeah. So that is an integral part of you know, everybody's career. So there's no you know, turning back for IT. And uh, I won't even surprise, you know, in the coming years, even a pawn shop in our country, you know, if they run through an IT software, even right now also, I, I believe it's happening somewhere. Correct. That's in back of IT. You know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Right, uh, rightly said. And now I would like to ask you, sir, after um, having such a long and diverse career, what exactly inspired you to become a career mentor and join the Yeah, so there are a few uh, things in this. See, first thing is that we live in the society. We are born in the society. Okay, we live in society. So society has made us what we are right. now, isn't it? So without that, you know, existence yeah. is, is, isn't, as you know, human beings are social beings. So yeah. that is, yeah. So ultimately, the time will come when you will have to feel like giving back to society. So that is a mm -hmm. part of it. Once you take something from society, society, you know, brings you, feeds you. I mean, you uh, are a carrier through society. So it, it's quite obvious that you, know, you have to give something back. So one of the way which I thought, you no, know, to give something back is to a mentoring. Okay. It, it is one of the best way you can say. What else can you think about? You know, if you can get an opportunity. To work with the uh, upcoming generations right. and lead them in the right you know, way it has to be. So the betterment of the country. Now you have got a lot of experience. So you know what is right, what is wrong. Okay, based on experience, you know it. So by, you can you know, convey that in the correct time to the generations. 
that is the best you know contribution you can do in terms of you know we are going back to society and saving the nation <laughs> Uh, yeah. Our pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. And rightly said, those were very noble thoughts of yours. So now I want to ask you, how do you think AI is changing the overall perspective about career and career mentoring? See, according to me, you know, every person in this world is not is unique, right? I mean, even though we look yeah. similar, we all are unique. Okay, we have got a every person goes, got got. his own way of i mean he's looking at the things and his own strength and weaknesses okay that is what is like you know so you know we look you know we, that is called the unit in diversity you can say okay whatever is that you yes. call it so it is quite obvious that each person you know when he get so suppose if you get into something which you like okay then you yes. do it better or even certain things are there no you even uh, doesn't know how the time passes and on the other way on the mm-hmm. contrary see if you get something which is, which is not of your you think that it's, you are not meant for that okay yes. then each and every minute you will find that you know, your the time is so you know, hard to go away you get bored you know distressed mm-hmm. all this. this is very important actually so if yeah. you observe it yeah so in the indian terms you can call that it's a sadharma okay sadharma swabhava okay swabhava has to you know be in in, in congruent or in, in sync with sadharma then only a person will be able to you know work well succeed prosper or whatever is there enjoy it first thing is enjoy mm. it so that is the most important thing when i speak about mentoring i mean when you think about mentoring this should thing should come in the mind i mean the basic aim of a mentor should be to identify mm. the swabhava of the person and then get the sadharma okay and then and then it is a sadhar yeah. so that's it so then he is bound to succeed in whatever he is. <laughs> yes. so yeah so that is how look at this career aspects so i mean in this particular contrary world you can say this particular if you see around this particular aspect is you know it's not considered so taken so seriously actually mm-hmm. forget about even coming in the let us take a few past you know, our times and all okay even now also i think in most of the families what they do is that when a child you know, grows in the age of 13 14 they don't look into what he is interested in or what he wants to develop himself instead what they do is that okay either they may have their own dream they try to impose on him or there is a standard format for that okay if that mm-hmm. guy is good okay you either making him a doctor or a engineer or if not so good a school teacher mm-hmm. or something like that so that that is actually you know you are doing the biggest crime against him you are just you know destroying his career so it is highly essential <laughs> in this particular Iraq, you know, where you know, you see, the India is on the verge of you know taking off. Okay, you know, emerging as a world force. Okay, India would yeah. you know, you know, soon become the you know backyard, okay, of the world where all the things get produced and you know distributed. So a lot of you know jobs will come up and the right people, the right people, the right job. So that is a mantra. See, if you put a wrong person to a wrong job, so that will never work. Okay, because and as I told you, you know. every person is meant to do certain things you can you can in that way that is the right thing to you know uh, express it so it's not everybody can, you know you cannot become a tendulkar isn't it so uh, somebody will become a yeshuda so somebody will become a modi so because everybody's traits are there again if you go the lot long lot a lot of things to discuss it i'm just cutting short on that because you, then how this trait comes and all if you discuss we have to go back to our you know shastras and all like you know old uh, previous birth karma traits and all but let us cut short in or that that and in short let us understand that this is there okay so it is highly essential to find out okay if you see the india is the more among the world the most young youthful country in the world okay the average age group in india is around 30 35 and it will come down so it is highly essential okay to exploit you know, them their capability to the fullest to identify their swabhava and align to sadharma this is in simple terms so that is where the career guiding is of utmost importance because at that point the right point if he gives the right guidance that's it so that's the savior for his life and he and that child you know if he's excelling that he will become a asset for the family as well as the country and all so that is where he should be focusing i think i have answered that question i believe <laughs> thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on that one so lastly i would like to ask you that um, as you know still there are some preconceived notions about what is the benchmark for success so far or what are the quintessential careers so called like doctor medis uh, engineering then engineering <laughs> it law only some 5 to 10 max to max 15 that are known by people what Um, advice, message, or suggestion you would like to give to today's parents and students about choosing the right direction. 
Yeah, so these chicken carriers, what you told, is probably those one that is visible, okay, and quite popular. That's why now when there is a lot of things, you know, to look into the people, we look into what is what is visible, what has got a bit more visibility, what is more popular through people. So okay, so that is why they are getting highlighted actually. So if you, if you maybe uh, there's no doubt in that these carriers are all. You know, can are all promising and they got a lot of they thing to offer. But if you see, if you go into a little bit deeper into that, okay, into a micro view, based on this carrier this itself, okay, related to this carrier also, there is a lot of others, you know, subsets of this or something yeah. very interesting, or some niche areas like that is going on with these whatever carriers you mentioned also. So ultimately, it is worth looking into that, and uh, that is how it, it has to be identified. That is what will happen. That is what is going to happen when you know you come into a you know a good career guidance you know institution like they are and all. They would analyze you to the core. Okay. Yes. We are with a obvious scientific, what you call scientifically proved instruments, or you know, and all. They would come to know what we are really good at. Okay. So when it comes True. to the point of closing down, okay, in a race, okay. Mm -hmm. First or second, you decide to given by a fraction of the seconds, right? So yes. same way, even to that the minutest details also they can go. Okay, mm -hmm. we can go and we can assess a person. Okay, if he is <laughs> in this particular line, you will be more pretty, more you know, the creative or you no, know, that there is more to his liking than had he gone to the other one. So for example, let me give an instant example of IT itself. Okay, so mm -hmm. IT you can say you can broadly classify this something called analytics. Okay. Yeah. So in the analytics, what we do is they just play with the data. Okay, they get a pile of data and do all sort of you know analysis on this. Okay, how this can this can and they give it to the management, high level management for efficient decision making. Okay, that that is one thing. Mm -hmm. And another is again something like you know pure programming. You use your yeah. imagination and build a program. Okay, mm -hmm. so for example, a web web designing. So web designer doesn't play with the data much. Okay, mm -hmm. he doesn't play with it, but he. At the same time, he uses his skills. So he is is intuitive, or you know, his creative skills and creates a lot of design. Yeah. So a person, if you okay, if you see that I want to become an IT engineer, so where will you put him? A person who is really, you know, yeah, the mindset of people varies. Okay, certain people are very good in analytics. Okay, they are born for this that with that particular caliber. And certain things, you know, that logic, inducive logics. The logics that got both deducive as well as inducive. So analysis requires a lot of deducive logic. Yes. Uh, Whereas you know a programmer, a web designer, this guy has a lot of intuitive logic. You need to from a point you have to branch out, and for mm -hmm. analytics, from a branching out you have to come come into that. So this make a big difference, you know, just opposite. But both are of IT. Yes. Okay. Now if you got a child, okay, you ask him, okay, better you choose IT. Which one you want? You go to get into analytics. Whereas he might be, you know, a real you know programming stuff, web designing stuff. So mm -hmm. you're just putting him in the opposite way, even though it looks in the same area. So it's very essential to go down to the Minute as possible, and if you go like that way, go more deeper into spectrum, drill down more, you mm -hmm. will find that now a lot of carrier emerges. Okay, a lot yeah. of carrier opportunity emerges in that. Okay, it's just a you know tip of the iceberg that these mm -hmm. ten is getting highlighted with whatever carrier options you told. But there are a lot of things, lot of great stuffs. You know, where are the competitions are less. Mm -hmm. Okay, requirements are promising, emerging. So all these yes. will get you know, explored when you you know get in touch with Daya and you know mm -hmm. like. Genuine, you know, career mentors company whose intention is only just to mentor a person's career and you know put him somewhere on the flight, but also to mentor a good generation. Okay, so that is also that is also one of the most important things. So other thing is that so once you put a person on the career, the task doesn't get so over there. Okay, yeah. how see it's a person's career is it would span around thirty forty years. You know, it's not a one or two days. This one and you have to survive there in this ever changing society of yeah. more morality values. So how to Sustain there. Okay, that is also another challenge that will comes up once afterwards once it takes up the job. So that is another thing aspect which has to be looked into. So that is why I think we have long term career planning also. So this is <laughs> how we are how I look into that. Okay, definitely, sir. So that was really uh, wonderful and a very helpful advice from you. Thank you very okay. much. And yeah, that's it. I sincerely thank you for taking out your precious time and sharing your experience and insights with us. And I thank you all for watching this episode today. I'm sure you must have found it insightful, inspirational, and enlightening. Stay tuned and stay safe. Until next time. Thanks.